happy <laughs> October gig. <laughs> oh, happy October. <laughs> I just accidentally blew out my spooky Halloween candle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll get it going again. Happy October. Good to see you, gig. Hey, good to see you, Thomas. Hey, congratulations on your uh, new film, Chosen Family. October 11th, literally everywhere that you can look at things. Everywhere you look at things on October 11th. That is that is so true. That is so true. And this and this is such a wonderful family friendly film. But uh, but we have to hear it from you first. Is what initially drew you that you wanted to be part of this project? Uh, so, uh, so somebody's feeding back. Somebody's is it gig? Who's oh. I, check check check. No. Okay, it's fixed. Um, I'll start that again. Um, so uh. Every time Heather Graham calls me and is like, do you want to be in a movie? My answer is 100% yes. Uh, and then, so the first time I was in a Heather Graham picture was uh, the one called um, uh, Half Magic, which is uh, her first picture, which is also a sort of a romantic comedy. It's sort of a romantic, disastrous comedy. Um, and honestly, I loved working with her. It was just a, a tremendous amount of fun. And that first movie was like, I had one of the best times I've ever had. I think I broke my wrist. In fact, I did break my wrist on my first Heather Graham movie. And even though I broke my wrist, it was still one of the most fun times I ever had on a movie. So I was like, uh, obviously I want to come do this one. And uh, it's just a great, like, it's the best way to make a movie, which is like, these are the kind of movies where you don't like have trailers and things like that. You know, there's no like, you're just there all the time. You're either in like this house or you're in like a weird little restaurant. And sometimes the restaurants open while you're filming. You know, these are like the best kind of movies to be in. Just like a very sort of run and gun type of movie. It was fun. This is my second Julia Stiles movie also. Oh. It's my second Heather Graham movie, my second Julia Stiles movie. If everybody remembers a guy thing. I do not. <laughs> not? A guy thing is pretty great. <laughs> it's a classic me and Selma Blair and Julia Stiles and Jason Lee. Uh, but it was a pretty fun. Yeah. So me and Julia Stiles are in a movie basically once every 25 years. Hmm. Our next one, our, my, the next me and Julia Stiles will come out in 2049. Well, there, there you go. So, so essentially like 49. So essentially all these people that you work with uh, all stays in a family. I, I don't even know if there's another word for a chosen family when it comes to, uh, you know, in the, in the entertainment in industry, working with the same people. Well, that, yeah, that's sort of exactly, I think, what Heather's sort of getting at with the, you know, the making of these movies and the casting of these movies is like, yeah, it's nice to be in like a little, you know, the, the people she would choose to be around. <laughs> Yeah. Now, what what was she like on set? Because I because this is her second film, but uh, but it's she plays you know as the lead actress and she directs at the same time. So how how is she as a as a boss on on production set? I find her to be a very easy boss. I mean, I find her to be uh, you know a lot of, of uh, probably more famous directors you know people will say like so what's it you know like what's it like being in a you know i've been in two merchant ivory movies mm. but james ivory never gave me a note in any movie or any feedback of any kind ever you know and i was in a clint eastwood uh movie and got directed by him for a couple of days and he never other than being incredibly supportive and like laughing in all the right spots which is exactly sort of what heather's like Oftentimes, and in a Christopher Nolan movie, you don't, no one comes in and then tells you like, here's how to do this. It's it's sort of assumed that you're there because you're going to do it in a way that, that they had in mind already. And that you're not going to like, you know, ruin <laughs> what they're doing. So, uh, no, I find it's a very, like, I have a very breezy relationship with Heather on set and it's always like a good place to improvise and just like it feels like a super supportive kind of place to be to you know get to be fun and funny and I, you know i'm slightly more of a, a, a probably a slightly more cartoonish actor and when i'm in her movies i 
I have to be a bit more grounded probably, but yeah. otherwise it's just, they're a fun, they're a very fun sort of thing to work on, you know? But that's also a testament to your acting, right? If, if these directors give you no notes. Well, I'm trying to think of the last time somebody really gave me notes. <laughs> it's just like, it just isn't a thing that really comes up that much. Wait, who, somebody must have, right? Like, somebody must have. I don't know. I made Clint Eastwood laugh real hard one time. No, Nolan's never given me a note. Oh, no, one time Christopher Nolan told me to stop. Me and Stephen Tobolowsky were uh, just, like, cracking each other up in Memento, which is not really the vibe of Memento. Hmm. <laughs> At one point, he asked me and Tobolowsky, he's like, okay, if you, could, if you two could sort of calm down. Because we were just like kind of, I don't know what we were doing, but we were sort of, we had the giggles in Memento. Well, you um, know, it's probably just... the last really like great note. And then maybe one time Terrence Malick told me to make sure that the camera could never see me very well. Mm -hmm. Which was, I thought, an interesting note. He's like, make sure it's very hard for the camera to see you and don't ever be straight, flat towards the camera. I was like, okay. Seems like I'm going to hardly be in the movie then when this comes out. And the answer was, I was hardly in the movie when it came out. <laughs> now, um, how relatable is the character Max to you? You know, him being, uh, I want to say, a foodie and a restaurateur. Um, in a lot of different ways. I mean, it's interesting. Uh, I'm not. I'm not really a foodie per se. I'm more of like a kid who grew up in the Midwest who... Like, I'm pretty cool with, like, Spam or, like, macaroni and cheese out of a box, you know? Like, I'm definitely cool with, with that. Like, sometimes I'd almost even prefer that to something nice, if you know what I mean. So I'm not not really a foodie per se. It was pretty neat. Um, my, the, my wife in the film is Odessa Ray, who has an Academy Award. Um, she uh, she made the, the movie Navalny, which is pretty amazing. So it's like... It's interesting. It's, some, it's interesting, like to, to for a rom com like this. Like, there's Heather, who's been in everything that Heather's been in and directed, and then Odessa Ray, who is has an Academy Award for Navalny. And then these days, I'm mostly a, really a novelist. Uh, so it's like it's just interesting to like what who's coming together to make a movie like this. Um, well, that's, that that's how uh, these uh, independent movies are actually made. It's it's you know it's uh, blood and tears and you know, bam family uh like yourselves <laughs> if you don't think this is an independent movie you should have seen the airport ho hotel that we stayed at while we were making it because it was terrible oh it was so bad Woo! <laughs> yeah it just was like it felt like indie like beyond indie yeah well thomas let, let me uh wrap it up uh i want to circle back to something that mm -hmm. you brought up is I, I want to know how does a person like yourself get injured on a romantic comedy that probably oh. has no stunts? <laughs> that was on the first Heather Graham picture, which is called, and you can see it, it's definitely in the film. <clears throat> There's an amazing uh, sequence where uh, Angela Kinsey and I run into uh, uh, this guy that she's been, me and my, I run into uh, the Angela Kinsey's like ex or new new lover and uh we almost have like we square off in a bar to fight and i did a karate kick it's in the, it's in the movie uh half magic that takes me completely upside down <laughs> i wasn't planning on it i just was really going big and i i i, I kicked at the other actor's face pl planning to miss but i didn't realize that it would make me do an entire somersault and land uh, basically upside down on the ground. So, so I landed uh, upside down on the ground, and I did that super clever thing where you uh, you break your fall with your your hand. And oh, it just I, it was very very clearly broken. The second it, you could just absolutely tell, but it was funny. It's, it looks funny, so always worth it. Well, you know what? Anything for your craft and art, Thomas. I really we're calling it craft. I love it. <laughs> Thomas, thank you very much uh, for carrying this conversation um, with us about Chosen Family. Everyone needs to check it out. On October 11th, everywhere. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.